Welcome to this transformative self-coaching program to help you integrate the pattern, feelings and beliefs of resistance to letting go. This program is designed to help you feel better now, and more empowered to handle this pattern in daily life. To best benefit from this program, full screen is recommended. Sit upright and still, and while you listen, follow the ball or pattern with your eyes. Alternatively, you may tap on one or more EFT tapping points. Are you ready? Please take full responsibility for your well-being. Section 1. We begin with the negative before reframing the pattern. Even though I struggle with this pattern, I choose to still love and accept myself, and I am open to a more empowering state of being. Take a deep breath. I felt helpless when I tried to move on from my past. I clung to my pain because it was familiar. I feared the unknown, so I resisted change. Letting go made me feel like I was losing part of myself. I believed that holding on was a way to honor my experiences. Each attempt to let go was met with overwhelming anxiety. I thought letting go meant I was weak. I couldn't imagine a future without my past sorrows. Releasing my grip felt like I was betraying my past self. The thought of moving forward without my past made me feel empty. I held on to grudges because it gave me a sense of control. Forgiving felt like giving others permission to hurt me again. I was convinced that my identity was tied to my past struggles. I feared that letting go would erase my history and memories. I felt that my past pains were too significant to be released. Section 2. Embrace this soothing, loving voice that speaks to your inner child. Maintain your attention on the screen following the movements of the shape or pattern with your eyes. I am sorry that you learned to equate letting go with helplessness. You are safe and loved. I understand you felt comfort in the familiarity of pain. I embrace your vulnerability with compassion. It saddens me that you were taught to fear the unknown. You deserve to express yourself authentically. I am sorry that letting go felt like losing your identity. I offer you comfort and reassurance. It breaks my heart that you believed holding on honored your experiences. You are worthy of love and acceptance. I wish you hadn't felt overwhelmed by anxiety when trying to let go. I validate your feelings and experiences. I am sorry you associated letting go with weakness. I celebrate your strengths and embrace your vulnerabilities with kindness. It's unfortunate that you couldn't envision a future beyond your past sorrows. Your happiness and well-being are my utmost priority. I regret that releasing felt like betrayal to you. You are infinitely valuable, and your feelings matter deeply. I am sorry that moving forward felt empty without your past. I am here for you, always present and always supportive. It's sad that holding on to grudges provided a false sense of control. I release you from the burdens of the past and embrace the lightness of being. I understand forgiving felt like allowing more hurt. You are safe with me, and together, we can face anything. I am sorry you believed your identity was solely your past struggles. Your inner wisdom guides us toward greater understanding. I am sorry that you feared letting go would erase your history. You are a masterpiece of love and divine creation. It pains me that you felt your past pains were insurmountable. I hold space for your pain and offer solace in times of sorrow. Section 3. Now, visualize positive change. Take a deep breath. I am choosing now to embrace new beginnings, recognizing that moving forward enriches my life. I am open to the possibility of finding peace in the present. Beyond the familiarity of past pain, I could consider embracing the unknown as a path to growth, freeing myself from fear. It would be nice if I could see letting go as an act of self-love, honoring my journey and potential. It is possible that by releasing the past, I am honoring my experiences in the most profound way. I can start to view attempts to let go as steps toward strength, not sources of anxiety. I am willing to explore the idea that strength lies in vulnerability and the ability to let go. I have the opportunity to envision a future enriched by my past but not tethered to it. I am capable of understanding that releasing my past is not betrayal, but an act of self-respect. I embrace the idea of a future filled with new memories, allowing the past to rest gently. 
I am ready to see letting go of grudges as a way to reclaim my power and control. I am beginning to see forgiveness as a pathway to freedom, not an invitation for more pain. I am receptive to the idea that my identity includes my past but is not limited by it. I am shifting towards believing that my history and memories are preserved, even as I move forward. I am open-minded about releasing my past pains to make room for new joys and experiences. Section 4. Bridging the journey from challenge to transformation. Remember to maintain your focus on the screen, following the movements of the shape or pattern with your eyes. Even though I felt helpless when I tried to move on from my past, I am safe and loved, and I am choosing now to embrace new beginnings, recognizing that moving forward enriches my life. Although I clung to my pain because it was familiar, I embrace my vulnerability with compassion, and I am open to the possibility of finding peace in the present, beyond the familiarity of past pain. Even though I feared the unknown, so I resisted change, I deserve to express myself authentically, and I could consider embracing the unknown as a path to growth, freeing myself from fear. Although letting go made me feel like I was losing part of myself, I offer you comfort and reassurance, and it would be nice if I could see letting go as an act of self-love, honoring my journey and potential. Even though I believed that holding on was a way to honor my experiences, I am worthy of love and acceptance, and it is possible that by releasing the past, I am honoring my experiences in the most profound way. Although each attempt to let go was met with overwhelming anxiety, I validate your feelings and experiences, and I can start to view attempts to let go as steps toward strength, not sources of anxiety. Even though I thought letting go meant I was weak, I celebrate your strengths and embrace your vulnerabilities with kindness, and I am willing to explore the idea that strength lies in vulnerability and the ability to let go. Although I couldn't imagine a future without my past sorrows, your happiness and well-being are my utmost priority, and I have the opportunity to envision a future enriched by my past but not tethered to it. Even though releasing my grip felt like I was betraying my past self, you are infinitely valuable, and your feelings matter deeply and I am capable of understanding that releasing my past is not betrayal, but an act of self-respect. Although the thought of moving forward without my past made me feel empty, I am here for you, always present and always supportive, and I embrace the idea of a future filled with new memories, allowing the past to rest gently. Even though I held on to grudges because it gave me a sense of control, I release you from the burdens of the past and embrace the lightness of being, and I am ready to see letting go of grudges as a way to reclaim my power and control. Although forgiving felt like giving others permission to hurt me again, you are safe with me, and together, we can face anything, and I am beginning to see forgiveness as a pathway to freedom, not an invitation for more pain. Even though I was convinced that my identity was tied to my past struggles, your inner wisdom guides us toward greater understanding, and I am receptive to the idea that my identity includes my past but is not limited by it. Although I feared that letting go would erase my history and memories, you are a masterpiece of love and divine creation, and I am shifting towards believing that my history and memories are preserved, even as I move forward. Even though I felt that my past pains were too significant to be released, I hold space for your pain and offer solace in times of sorrow, and I am open-minded about releasing my past pains to make room for new joys and experiences. If you were tapping, you can stop as we go to section 5. Preemptive gratitude for transformation. I am grateful for the strength and wisdom that emerge as I embrace new beginnings and release the past. I am thankful for the peace and serenity that fill my heart as I learn to navigate the unknown with grace. I appreciate the journey of self-discovery that allows me to see letting go as an act of profound self-love. I am filled with gratitude for the lessons learned from my past experiences, which guide me towards a brighter future. I am grateful for the inner resilience I find in moments of vulnerability, understanding that it leads to greater strength. I cherish the new perspectives and opportunities that arise as I envision a future unbound by past sorrows. I am thankful for the self-respect and dignity I gain as I learn to release my past with love and honor. I appreciate the newfound power and control I discover as I let go of old grudges and embrace forgiveness. 
I am grateful for the deeper understanding of my identity, appreciating my past but not being confined by it. I treasure the joy and new experiences that fill the spaces once occupied by past pains, grateful for the journey of transformation. Section 6. Closing and Next Steps. Take a deep, rejuvenating breath. Congratulations on completing this transformative session. Take a note of how you feel in comparison to how you started. Be attentive to the reduction in the emotional weight of associated memories and changes in how you react to things that used to trigger you. Feel free to repeat this program to completely shift and reframe this pattern and beliefs. For more details, see the link in the bio or description below.